Hey, good day, everybody. Glad to be back with y'all today. Today, I'm gonna be making one of Sheila's mom's old family recipe. She used to make this for us all the time. She'd make like 10 pans of it. It's called Birok, B-I-E-R-O-C-S. It's an old German food, and it's basically like a German hamburger, is what you would call it. It has simple ingredients. We've got a head of cabbage that we're gonna shred. We've got two onions that we're gonna dice up. We've got a pound of hamburger meat and a pound of sausage. Now we tweak this recipe a little bit by adding the sausage. Her mom never did that. Just plain salt and pepper, and then we're gonna make some homemade yeast rolls. We're gonna cook all this together. We're gonna roll out the dough, and we're gonna cook them in the oven. So let me get this, I'm gonna be shredding the cabbage and cook the hamburger meat and everything, and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Okay, everybody, I'm back now. Boy, it smells so good in here already. We have the sausage and the hamburger meat and the onions cooked. Now I'm fixing to add my cabbage in here. I may have to add it a little bit at a time. And let it steam a little bit in there with that cooked meat. And then we'll be back in just a little while. Okay, back with you. We have the cabbage cooked down. Cabbage, onion, hamburger meat, and sausage with salt and pepper already cooked down. This has to cool completely before I put it on the dough. So now I'm fixing to get over here and I'm gonna make the dough. We're using this Pillsbury hot roll mix. It's a yeast dough. And I'll just go exactly by the ingredients on the box and then I'll roll it out. And when I get it rolled out, I'll come back and show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, we're back now. The filling is cooled off some. I've got the dough all rolled out. What I'm fixing to do, take a pizza cutter, and I'm gonna cut my dough. Like this right here. Probably come back. Okay, let me square this up right here a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take my filling and I'm gonna just spoon some on each one of them. Like that right there. We like to add cheese. Sheila's mama never did do this, but we like to add a little cheese to it. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is take up four corners. Like this right here. Put it in a little ball, seal them edges. And I'm gonna put them in a lightly greased pan right here. Do a couple more here. Okay, I'm gonna get all these done. Once I have them all in the pan, they're gonna have to rise for probably 30, 30 minutes to an hour. They're probably almost double in size. And then we'll put them in the oven and cook them. I'll be back in just a little. Okay, the rows have about doubled in size now. So we're fixing to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for probably 16 to 18 minutes. I'll let you know how long it was when they cooked. Who doesn't love a good yeast roll? Okay, they are done. Taking them out. 
I just brushed the tops of this one with butter. Now let me brush the tops of this one right here with a little butter. Mm, boy, it smells so good. All right, we're gonna let them cool off here just a minute, and uh, then I'll get some on a plate, and I'll get my tester in here to give them a try. Okay, they have cooled off just a little bit, and I've got my taster here gonna give them a taste, but I just wanna let you know they wind up cooking for 16 minutes. And this, this uh, recipe that I had actually made two boxes of the yeast rolls. We made one box now, and I put the rest of the filling in the refrigerator. And I'll probably wind up freezing it. And then in a week or two, I'll roll out some more dough and make some more. Okay, let's get to my tester. Alrighty. All right. Hey, excited. Mm. 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 Very good. I think my mom and I taught you well. Very good. Mm. They are so good. Bring back many childhood memories. Okay. Good job. Alrighty. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I did making this. I, in fact, I've got to get me a plate right now, too. So uh, I'll put the recipe up in case anybody ever wants to try it. So everybody, y'all stay safe and healthy, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.